Hello again, this is Eric with Master Tool Repair. Today we're going to explain uh, some specifications on uh, motors for air compressors. And here we have a standard uh, air compressor motor here, and our motor label is our specs. Now we do at Master Tool Repair recommend uh, to replace the motor uh, with the OEM replacement, if at all possible, and uh, find a part number in your manual uh, to really uh, find the correct OEM replacement. But if not, and you're missing a part number, uh, or you don't have it, here's something uh, specs you can look out for to replace your motor. Here we have a Century AC motor, uh, AO Smith. You'll find the brand name first and then the brand catalog number of the motor. So that's helpful in identifying this as well. Now we have some basic specs you'll need to know. Uh, first off, we have here uh, horsepower, you know to buy two, three, four, five, SPL, uh, special, etc. Of course, the 60 hertz motor, uh, and we have the voltage rate. In this case, this is able to wire for 208 to 230 volts or 460 volts. And RPM, another important spec, at 30, uh, 3450 RPM on this particular motor. Amp rating right below, we have 13. Uh, amps. Uh, this is a running amp uh, on the motor, and we also have a part number here on the motor. This is the manufacturer uh, see part number, uh, in this case Campbell Hosfeld, and you'll typically find a part number on the bottom of the motor label if, uh, if you can't identify it elsewhere. Now, the one thing you'll need to know is the shaft diameter or shaft size of the motor as well. In this case, pulling a ruler across the outside diameter of the shaft, we have 7 eighths inches. So you definitely want to confirm shaft size for ordering because it's not typically on the motor label. And lastly, the frame size. Very important, notated here is FR on the label. This is a Y56Y frame, which typically uh, explains the, the base and the footprint uh, configuration of the motor and the bolt holes and pattern. So that is a very important specification to know. And that's basically how to uh, find the specs on the motor. Uh, Again, we do recommend the OEM replacements uh, when available. If you don't have a part number, you can always use these specs. Once again, thank you for watching. Have a good day.